Hey Defenders, welcome back. So as many of you guys know, Greylock is a pivotal part to our Seam stack. The Greylock server is going to be the box that is actually receiving all of the logs that are ingested into the Seam stack, whether it be from our Wazoo endpoints or from firewall devices or any other type of applications, devices, uh, third-party services that are throwing logs into your Seam stack. They are going to be routed through Greylog. And Greylog is also going to handle where the data is going to be written to on the back end in terms of the index, but also it is going to handle our field normalization, which in turn is used to populate our dashboards. It can do API enrichment, and we cover more details uh, in this blog post here, which I'll also link in the description. Here at Sock Fortress, Greylog is a crucial piece to our stack and is something that we provide with all clients. For you guys following along who just have your own Wazoo infrastructure, there can definitely be kind of a learning curve behind writing pipeline rules and doing some of that normalization that takes place. But we've actually decided to add a content pack that you can install through Copilot, which will create all of the pipeline configurations, the wazoo input uh, it'll set your default stream for your wazoo log if you guys have just spun up your wazoo manager you've just installed gray log you've connected the two via fluentb but you're looking for the pipeline rules and that extra enrichment that we use because you'll also be able to use it for our Grafana dashboards uh, in future videos as well. So if you want a pretty close representation to the same pipeline rules uh, that we apply to Wazoo events that are ingested that we provide to our clients, we've built the stack, stack provisioning into Copilot. So within Copilot here, of course, uh, a prerequisite, you do need to have gray log over 5.0.13, which this is kind of outdated now. I think 5.2. something is the latest release. Um, so make sure your gray log version is at a later version than uh, 5.0.13. And then of course you also need to have your gray log connector configured as well. So our gray log connector is connected and verified. And I've got a previous video on, on configuring the gray log connector, which I'll, link to in the description below as well. It's as simple as going to the overview page, select the stack provisioning, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is deploy the Sock Fortress Wazoo content pack. So once I hit deploy here, Copilot is going to interact with our Greylog instance to actually install this content pack. So let's go back into Greylog. If I go into system and then go into content packs, we should now see our Sock Fortress content pack has now been installed. So here we see that it's been added to Greylog, but it's also been installed. Let's walk through what exactly is included within this content pack. So if I go into inputs here, um, we'll first see that we've spun up a local input here, this Wazoo events fluent bit, and by default, it's going to be listening on 5555. If this is stuck in a stopped state, just restart your Greylog service. You can do that with systemctl restart Greylog dash server. Um, and it'll come right up. I, I think that's a bug on Greylog side. For some reason, sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, but when content packs are installed and they contain an input, sometimes even if you try to start them from the web UI, they fail. So you just have to restart the Greylog service, which isn't a big deal. It'll come right back up. Uh, you'll also notice that you have this Wazoo EDR agent stream that has now been created. This stream is what's going to be used to route these to the appropriate index set. If you want to route these to a different index set, what is created by default, you can just select your the index set that you want to route it to here. And you'll also notice the stream rules uh, because we don't want to include Cercata alerts or Office 365 or the Sock Fortress health check because all we're really concerned about is Wazoo events. We have different streams that will handle Cercata and Office 365 events. But but the most beneficial piece of this content pack is actually going to be the pipeline. So you'll also see you have your Wazoo processing pipeline. And if we select this guy, you'll see all of the pipeline rules that we include as part of the content pack. So these are all broken up in the various stages. Uh, we are first and for example, here within stage one, here is where we're setting our syslog level field. When the Wazoo rule level is greater than three, but less than eight, we're setting our syslog level field to notice. Uh, if we look at like our alert, we're setting the syslog level field to an alert when the Wazoo rule level is greater than 11. And this is an important piece because 
We'll use this later on in the alert provisioning, which we do within Copilot as well. So there'll be more details on this in the future. This is a quick and easy way for you guys to get the same field normalization and enrichment that we provide, Not only, which are some key components to how Copilot is going to operate, but also for your Grafana dashboards as well. You'll be able to also take advantage of the dashboards that we provide within your own Grafana instance because your fields will be normalized. If we look at the Sysmon event 22, which is, I think, DNS request. For example, you see us setting common field names for DNS query instead of data underscore win underscore event data underscore query name. We're just setting it to a common uh, name field such as DNS query for example. And there's a ton of more pipeline rules, which I won't get into. You can feel free to check them out as you get them installed into your own Graylog instance. You can also modify them if you want to make tweaks to, to any of these rules uh, on your local Graylog box. That isn't an issue, but this will help get you guys up and running take away some of the complexity that can be around uh, writing pipeline rules, doing field normalization. In the future, I'll show you guys how we can use Copilot to actually provision Grafana dashboards as well. You will need to have the content pack installed and have your Wazoo events going through that content pack so that data on those Grafana dashboards are normalized correctly. But that's it for this video. Again, super quick and easy to install the Wazoo content pack. Again, your Greylog version does have to be greater than 5.0.13. And then you have to have your Greylog connector done. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. And we'll use Copilot to take more advantage of some of the contents within the content pack in future videos. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. I appreciate you guys' time and I will see you in the next one.